quarter till seven. One group in Lexington is looking to transform the city's east end. Artist villages are being built so creators can work and live together. The first house is now finished. 13 more on the way. I got a first-hand look at this transformation and a story that's new this morning. There's an old saying that you should never take your work home with you, but a new project here in Lexington is turning that idea on its head. Mark Johnson, president of Art in Kentucky, came up with the idea for an artist village in the city's east end where artists will live and work. So I talked to a number of artists uh, in the state, and I just asked them, I'm thinking about doing this. What would you like to see? Many of them talked about needing assistance, not with their artwork, but with the business side of things, like marketing and promotion, but... The most consistent answer that they gave to me, though, was selling opportunities. They all wanted more opportunities to sell their artwork. This feedback created the groundwork for the artist village. Community Ventures acquired the land bound by Goodlow, Warnock, Race, and Third Streets. On that land, there will be 14 homes, an art park for events, and a retail art gallery. There are four different floor plans for these homes, all named after famous Kentucky artists. But the one unifying feature will be an attached studio with a large glass window for passersby to watch the artists at work. The, the opportunity for collaboration, artists living together right next door, artists across the street, artists next door to you. Um, so that's what I'm most excited about when the project gets up and running. There's already a lot of interest in this project. Six artists are in the application process, and a first resident has been approved, Kentucky poet Frank X. Walker. Him and I will have one of the units as well. So, so you have to believe in this, you're going to be there. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I, I was born upon Fifth Street, so this is, my, this is my home community, this is my home neighborhood, and I'm really excited to be able to, to come back. The Artist's Village is on track to be complete in the next three years. And once the artist village is complete, Johnson says they plan to apply for an art district distinction. So that's going to be pretty cool. That's that is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know, he actually has work in the Louvre in Paris. Really? He was very humble. Someone else actually told me that about him. So, uh, he would never say that about himself. He's a very distinguished artist yeah, there. Exactly. And great uh, reuse uh, mm -hmm. in that neighborhood. Really neat. All right, 647 is the time this morning. We're watching